there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. I have been painting all day with oil paints, and I thought before I picked my stuff up, I would review the paints I've been using. I've had them for a couple of months, and um, I really want to get this review out because I think they're a great bargain, and they are available. They're on Amazon, and um, these are some paintings that I did in 30 minutes. So this one took about 22 minutes. Um, then I have a few over here that I did. This one was about 27 minutes, I think. And same with this guitar. And also, and they're still wet and shiny, so um, hopefully it's not too glary there. So these were all uh, El Prima paintings done all at once, under 30 minutes for a class that I have coming up. And um, these paints performed really well. So here you can see on my palette the, um, the viscosity of them. I'll just uh, kind of smear a little out there so you can see. I haven't cleaned up my palette yet and I have some paint good enough to save, big enough paint amount to save. Um, I want to show you the uh, the kind of thickness of it. Hopefully I'll bring the whole thing right up. This is my painting board I like to use when I'm filming. But you can see the paint holds a nice peak. Uh, very wonderful to work with. Um, I have no complaints with it and the best part about these are the price. Well, and the quality. The quality and the price. It's all good. So let me show you what they are. You're probably in suspense. <laughs> oh, maybe you're not. I don't know. Um, they are the Caroline Artist Oil Paints from Paul Rubens. They are a set of 18 and they come in almost a 2.02 ml tubes. So um, a good size tube of paint for uh, for comparison. This is a standard size oil paint tube from M. Graham. This is 1.25 floral ounces or 37 ml. And this is uh, cadmium yellow in the M. Graham. This is cadmium yellow in the Paul Rubens. Um, and you know, same pigment information, PY35, PY35. This costs on Blick 24 bucks. These run a uh, uh, end up being $3.88 a tube. So um, just for a little comparison. So like this size tube of paint from M. Graham, which and I love M. Graham watercolors and oil paints, they go for between $9 and $30 on, um, on Blick. So, you know, it is a big cost savings. So the thing I, other thing I really love about these paints is every paint tube has a hand swatched label. So there's no guessing of what color you're going to get when you grab the tube of paint. I really love that. Um, this set has um, a couple cool reds. we got permanent red dark, which is kind of a neutral red. we got alizarin crimson, which is a cool red. This must be a permanent alizarin crimson because it doesn't look like... This is PR177. Um, the permanent red dark is PR170. And then we've got cadmium red, which is your customary PR108. Um, then we've got three yellows. We've got a permanent yellow deep. We've got a lemon yellow and we've got a cadmium yellow. So you've got a very warm, a kind of a more neutral and a cool. Then for our blues, we actually have four blues. We have um, French ultramarine. This is probably my most used color. We have... Um, this is called e, e plant, but this is uh, PB27 Prussian Blue, which is probably one of my most used blues also in oil paints. Then we have Lake Blue, and I believe this is a Thalo Blue. Um, yep, this is Thalo Blue and White. And then we've got Cobalt Blue, which is your customary PB28. So we've got some very expensive pigments in here. For greens, we have Thalo Green, uh, Jade Green. This green looks like it has a white. This is PG7 PY3 and PW6. Um, this one's just PG7. This one is PG36, PY74. Um, so we've got a cool, transparent, very strong green. You mix it with some of the um, like permanent yellow deep and you'll get a beautiful sap green. Um, we've got a yellow green and we've got the jade green, which is kind of like an emerald tone. So there's three greens. Thalo green is the most useful. I would honestly rather have had a sap green than one of these two, but that's just me. It's a convenience mix. I can mix it. It's not a big deal. We've got a yellow ochre, PY42. We've got a burnt umber. Those are our two neutrals that we have in the kit. Um, we've got a permanent purple, which is PV23, your dioxazine violet color. And we have a ivory black and a titanium white. Now, um, you could obviously, if you use up one of these colors in the set, you can go buy a tube from another manufacturer because um, you're probably not going to use them all up equally at the same time. I would highly recommend grabbing an extra tube of white um, anytime you're starting off 
painting like in acrylics or oils or gouache even um, if you're buying a set but these are good sized tubes so I don't think you're gonna run out of any color anytime soon I would like to also have a burnt sienna um, only having one brown I think that would also get used up pretty quickly but um, I think the quality is great I love the custom swatches the pigment information looks good and the fact that there is pigment information on it is really nice and um, the price for 18 of these two ounce tubes it's $70 plus is a coupon which brings it around to like $62 and um, you know free shipping on Amazon so you're looking at three eighty eight a tube versus nine dollars and up for any other company and they're usually smaller tubes so um, it's a great way to, to try oil paints on a budget but still getting high quality paints and I thought it might actually be interesting to just um, look at the cadmium yellows here let's see how they compare I'm just going to grab, um, I'll, you know, I'll just grab a piece of paper because um, I just have one handy. Let's just see how the colors compare. And plus I want to show you how the tubes look. They both have nice big openings. This is the Paul Rubens. Squirt a little bit so you can see. I don't want to waste it because even though it's, you know, affordable, I still don't want to waste it because it's good paint. And this is the cadmium yellow from M. Graham. This one just tones a little bit deeper, but you know that PY35 can be anywhere from uh, like a cadmium lemon all the way up to a cad yellow deep. Um, consistency wise, I know I'm such a I'm so stingy. I don't want to waste any. Uh, consistency wise, let's zoom in a little bit so you can see. This is the M. Graham. Wipe my palette knife off. This is the Paul Rubens. I'd say the consistency is about the same. Oh, I've got, you know what? I'll just grab a little uh, of another, another yellow just so you can see the consistency, which is the same. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you'd really, you'd really want for anything. You can use them with the paints you already have. You can buy open stock paints from another brand to use with them. So you don't have to, um, you know, worry about using up a color. I just think it's a great affordable way to get started in oil painting, oil paints and um, not spend too much money. And the way they come is you, they come through, they come in these boxes. This, I'll just, I'll just close up the main box. Um, so storage is really compact if you want to keep them in their normal case. This is this holds all 18 tubes. There's like not a, an inch to spare. So they all come packed into these three boxes, kind of like like they're alternating so they fit better. And then all those boxes are packed into the case I just showed you. So that's how they come. Um, that box is like one, two, three, four, five inches tall by four inches wide by an inch thick or so. So just to give you an idea of how much space that's going to take up, these are good sized tubes and they're great quality and a nice affordable value. There is another set of Paul Rubens paints that I think are less, but the tubes are smaller. So um, just to let you know, I found those to be really nice as well. Um, these are, I love the viscosity of these. Are, they're heavy bodied, they're wonderful, and I wouldn't hesitate to give them a try if you're an oil painter. Um, none of the colors I've used have given me any problems and they were great for Primo work, which is what I've been doing. And what I'm gonna continue to do with these for right now. But um, I love that you can see how opaque and how translucent they are. There is um, like a star system on here for I assume for light fastness but uh, I'm not really sure what their scale is telling me I know ultramarine is a very um, a light fast color but Prussian blue it is more light fast in oil than in um, than in watercolor but it's got the same rating as as Prussian blue and yellow ochre has a really high I would assume that's that the more stars the better but um, but I'm not entirely I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, light fastness, you don't have to worry about quite as much with oil paints as you do watercolors because they have that nice protective thick, um, you know, oil paint medium that's surrounding all the pigment molecules and also you varnish them. So you have a little more protection just um, essentially from like oil paints and acrylic paints just because of the medium that's used. Like uh, a tube like this might have the same amount of pigment as a little tube of watercolor paint like there's just a lot more binder, binder. So if you're looking at this, it's probably like half binder, half pigment, or maybe a third pigment, two thirds binder. I'm not exactly sure, but it's definitely more binder to pigment versus watercolor. So watercolor is just so fragile. Um, so yeah, 
I mean, you can obviously look up any of the pigment numbers and do your own research and see what you think about those before purchasing. Um, I will link to it on Amazon so you can find all the information there. And uh, I just think it's a great value in oil paint. I was shocked actually to see how expensive individual tubes of oil paint were because it's been a while since I bought any individual tubes because I it keeps oil paint keeps really well and the paint the the tubes I've been working on I've had for decades because I used to teach so I'd buy those big honkin you know 200 ml tubes of paint um and yeah I still have a ton uh so I was really surprised to see how much paint prices have risen so these are a bargain you want to try oil, oil paint maybe you want to take a class my upcoming class that I'll have coming out in a few weeks um this is a great a great uh a great option. By the way, the class I'm working on is also going to be able, you can also do it in gouache or acrylic, so it's, you don't have to have oil paint for that, but um, I prefer to paint with oils out of the three, I think, but I like gouache too. I don't know, it just depends on the mood that I'm in. But anyway, I wanted to do a quick review of these because I think they're fantastic and I love that they went the extra mile and did hand swatches and I'm really surprised that they are as cheap as they are. Who knows, maybe they'll raise the price when they get more popular, but um, if that's the case, get them while they're cheap. <laughs> uh, you know, and you're probably thinking, $70, that's not cheap, Lindsay. But when you're getting this much paint, yeah, it, and it's oil paint, it's cheap. Oil paint is pricey, so there you have it. Um, and, and take it with a grain of salt. Maybe look at other people's reviews, too, because I primarily do uh, watercolor and mixed media, and I'm much more... Um, <clears throat> I'm much more versed in watercolor reviews, so, you know, you might want to hear an opinion from um, someone who primarily paints in oils. I totally get that. That's totally understandable. But in my opinion, these are fantastic and they're a great deal. So anyway, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye!